Hey guys, welcome back to another session of using technical analysis to find high probability trading setups. All right, so for Aussie Cat, we're looking at Aussie Cat right here. All right, and what I like about Aussie Cat is the Fibonacci confluence. All right, so we can see that there's a nice, um, it's a 100% Fibonacci projection that comes down to here. And we can throw in a couple more things. All right, we've got um, Fibonacci expansion. I think, if I'm not wrong, it lines up pretty close to there. No, I think it will be used as the stop loss instead, right? Uh, negative 61.8 will be used as the stop loss, right? So I'm going to put it there, negative 61.8, right? We have another Fibonacci over here. I think if I'm not wrong, the 161.8 might be pretty close, right? We've got a 161.8 Fibonacci projection there, right? We have the, if I'm not wrong, is the 127 that lines up over here. Right, and we have another bigger Fibonacci retracement from here all the way up to here. And this one, I think, is the 61.8 that lines up over there. Okay, so all these levels lining up over here to create a very nice buy entry. Oops, sorry. To create a very nice buy entry just about at this level, right? So this is just the buy entry, right? We're going to keep a pretty tight stop loss, you know, keep a st stop loss slightly below here. That'll be enough, you know. Give it that little bit of breathing space. Stop loss. Now take profit. We'll play it to the you know to the breakout level over here, right? Won't be too ambitious. Won't play it too far up, but just playing up to this breakout level, uh, this pullback resistance would be enough, right? It's a very nice simple trade with a nice confluence area to see price bounce all the way up there, right? Buy entry. I might actually shift it down a little bit. I do think price might be inching down a little bit more, touch this level, and then bounce up there. Okay. Well, guys, that's it for me. I hope you found this session useful, especially in how we managed to get all these different Fibonacci levels lined up together to create a nice Fibonacci confluence area. Okay? Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or feedback, please send it in the questions question section below. I'll do my best to get to them. Otherwise, I'll see you again tomorrow for more high-probability setups using technical analysis. Cheers, stay safe, and peace out.